I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. This is my JB2407 motor, but wait. We've come out with version 2 of this motor, and one of the changes we've made is that we have a 1750 kV wind. So for those of you guys who uh, like my motor but want to run 6S, now you can. But those aren't the only changes we made uh, in version 2 of the motors. We also added this knurling here at the top to help hold the prop a little more securely. That was a very common request, and we, we are listening. And the other change that I requested is to distribute the motors with cap head screws instead of button head screws. I always use cap head screws for motors uh, because they are way more resistant to being scuffed and stripped off and damaged. And I was like, I was literally installing a set of my motors and I was throwing out the button head screws. And I was like, wait a minute, these are my motors. I can just ask them to put cap head screws in the box. And I did, and they did. So I am about to take this motor out and fly this quad 6S Freestyle. I have been flying this exact quad on the 4S motors, and I literally just this minute swapped those motors out for 1750 kV. So we're going to turn this, I always try and put educational content in my video. This is going to be a little 4S versus 6S comparison. I'm going to listen to the exact same song. I'm going to try and fly kind of the exact same way, but we're going to see how the 1750 kV changes the way it flies. Before I get to the freestyle, one more thing I do have to say. A another common request is, when am I going to release a Popo shaft version of my motors? Some of you guys really like the Lumineer Popo system that lets you uh, put on and take off props without uh, without n prop nuts. And I've been, I love the Popo system, I really do, but my motors are already kind of 26 bucks and the Popo system would add another couple bucks to that just because the shafts are more expensive and I just hesitate to make the motor more expensive. But if enough of you guys really want to see Popo Bells, let me know down in the comments uh, if you would buy a Popo version of this motor. And if there's enough comments and enough interest, maybe we'll do something about that. I just, I'm already kind of embarrassed to have my name on a $26 motor. It's art, it's, I mean, it's a big motor. It's a, you know, it's not expensive for what you get, but it is expensive and I kind of feel bad about it. So then charging another two bucks for a Popo version, I just, I don't know if I could sleep at night. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Link to this motor down in the video description. And you have to buy the motor because I like flying this motor. And if you don't buy it, they won't make it for me anymore. So just do me a solid. <laughs> okay, let's go fly. Quick note as we go into this, this is Betaflight 356. This is not Betaflight 4.0. So anything, there's no like filter magic going on here making the seam better than you might expect it to be. The other thing is that I have not retuned this quad since switching to the Gemfan 51499 props. So there's a little bit more prop wash than there was when I was on the less aggressive props. Okay, let's do it. Oh, oh, hey, one more thing. I'm going to put the DVR down in the bottom of the screen so you can see the actual battery voltage, throttle position, and all that stuff. As we come to the end of the pack here, you can definitely see that the battery is struggling a little bit. We're, we're holding down around 3.7, 3.6 volts. That'll come up to close to 3.75, maybe 3.8 at the end of the flight. But some of that is due to the fact that this is a relatively heavy quad at around 650 grams all up. Some of that's due to the fact that this isn't actually a brand new battery. I've, I've 
might be time to start getting new four cell packs if I really want to do comparisons like this. Um, it definitely, you do need to think with my 2407 motors about your quad. You can't just slap them on any old quad and expect to get amazing results. On a heavier quad like this, they will struggle a little more. I'm also using the Gemfan 54199 props, which are a little more aggressive than the props I was using. So, uh, okay, that's going to do it for this flight in just one second. Then we'll see how it does in success. Uh, since you're probably wondering, the props that I'm using are the Gemfan Hurricane 51499. I don't know what the extra 9 is for. 5149.9? I don't know. Um, and the reason I'm using these props is because this quad is relatively heavy. Well, with a GoPro, it's about 650 grams. Uh, and that means that I need a little bit more bite in the props to, to get it to a corner without feeling kind of slushy. Um, I have been running the HQ 5148s, which are relatively aggressive props, but it just still didn't feel as sharp in the corners as I wanted. I could just build it lighter, but ha 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 that's silly. So, um, I've been really liking these Gemfan 51499 props on these motors. Um, they do make the battery suffer a little bit. Uh, the 5148s, and fi they're fine uh, in terms of amp draw, but these ones are a little more aggressive and the batteries do sag. So I'm curious how the 6S is maybe going to perform better with less sag. You know, I think on, on many typical builds, the difference for freestyle between 6S and 4S is not as big as all that. Um, I think you may not notice the difference if you build it right. But in this situation, with a relatively heavy quad and a large motor and an aggressive prop, this may be a case where success is actually going to really excel. Since what success is good at is not sagging. Let's, uh, let's find out. So this is roughly the point where the other flight ended, and I do think the 6S pack is doing better. Um, it seems to be holding a slightly higher voltage toward the end of the pack. It's sagging down to around 3.7, whereas the other one was down closer to 3.6 or even 3.5. Um, the other thing is it does seem to have slightly less prop wash oscillation. Again, it probably you could tweak the tune to get it fly pretty good on both of them, but just all else being equal, the 6S seems to have slightly less prop wash oscillation. Now here I crashed out at about two minutes, 20 seconds, and you can see the battery is climbing back up. In fact, it finished and it recovered up to about 3.83. And I was like, heck, I can keep flying. And I actually flew on the same pack. I did get longer flight time 
on this quad with the success battery now i find i oh i hesitate a little bit to say that and i'll tell you more about why just as soon as this flight finishes Okay, here's why I hesitate. Um, I've I've gone over the question of 4S versus 6S before, and my conclusion has always been that for a typical freestyle pilot, 6S does not have a very compelling advantage um, because a typical free a, a racer who is pushing for every last advantage, there is an advantage to going to 6S. 6S packs will work harder. They will give less voltage sag. You can run them closer to the voltage minimum while still having them be useful. But a typical freestyle pilot, who cares if you get another 20 or 30 or four, maybe 40 seconds of flight time out of a pack? Unlike a racer where that makes a difference between qualifying at the top and not qualifying at all, for a freestyle pilot, you just land and put another pack on and you're, you keep going. And the price of 6S packs and the, uh, the uh, choice, there's not as many 6S packs available and they're generally more expensive. I just feel like for a typical freestyle pilot, it's not worth it. But there is an advantage to 6S. I've always said that. And well, you're gonna go back and you're gonna cherry pick my comments. I never said there wasn't an advantage, just that it was not like a night and day advantage and that it wasn't compelling for, for the typical user who is who I'm usually thinking about. But this is the first time when I flew and I said, wow, maybe there's something to this because I've kind of backed myself into the corner a little bit uh, with the build that I've ended up on. So I went with relatively large 2407 motors, which means that the amp draw is manageable, but if you then take those motors and you stick them on a relatively heavy quad and then you go, well, this thing kind of flies a little bit slushy. Maybe I need more aggressive props to get that sharp handling. And then, oh, now I really like the way it flies. But then there's a little bit more battery sag than I might like. Oh, 6S is the answer. So I have kind of painted myself into this corner where suddenly success might make sense for freestyle. But before I draw that conclusion, I got to be scientific about it because like I said, these are not brand new 4S packs. In fact, they're kind of a little bit worn out and old, whereas the 6S packs have far fewer cycles on them because I don't have a full-time 6S quad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some 4S and 6S packs, the exact same kind, and I'm going to rerun this test by flying them. And I hope that you guys, I hope you just enjoyed the freestyle, right? That's a, like, because because if you're looking for a definitive answer of which is better, well, this isn't, that, there, that video doesn't exist. Um, but I hope I've given you some perspective on the kind of things that would make somebody test a uh, try 6S versus 4S. I promise I am going to come back and I'm going to rerun this test with matched batteries. Don't go yet. I got one more thing for you. And if you already are convinced that 6S is the way to go and you're interested in my motors, well, now you've got the choice. There's one more thing I'm going to show you. I got one more flight. It's the actually the best flight of the day. And I'm not going to tell you beforehand whether it was on 4S or 6S. And that's I bet you most of you will just be like, hey, that looks pretty good. And that's the thing. If you feel like you can't afford 6S batteries or 6S hardware, don't don't stress about it. A 4S quad can fly amazing. Uh, and here's the, all the proof that you need. Of that. Oh, I've, I've kind of given it away, haven't I? Oh, is it 6S or 4S? Hmm, which could it be? <laughs> Enjoy the freestyle. Happy flying, guys. The highway along the ocean Drive far through your emotions High speed and we're together till the end The sun is going down The night, just call it out High speed, we're still together Nothing more
high spirit, we're still together, nothing more.